Hi everyone. So uh, this video recording uh, is for the F5HA uh, ENR solution that we are providing. The problem statement about this uh, particular project that we have developed is that uh, F5 VNF high availability solution is uh, currently not available in IBM Cloud, and this is uh, present in other uh, cloud providers. Uh, so the basic solution that we have proposed. So here, if you see that we have two F5 instances here, and each of the F5 instance has three different uh, interfaces. So one is internal interface, one is external, and one is the management interface. And traffic always comes to the external interface of each of the F5. So in this case, uh, the, in, the external interface uh, can change uh, from active to standby because each of the F5 has different uh, external interface IPs. So, uh, how we are solving this problem is that uh, we are creating a custom route modifier service in a VSI, uh, which is deployed in a publicly accessible subnet. And when there is a failover from active to standby, a script uh, in F5 uh, load balancer, uh, which is called the TG active script, that is called, and in turn it calls the service which we have deployed in the VSI. And uh, this service uh, main task is to call the RIA CPI to change the custom routes to point to the new active F5's external IP. So after the custom route has been changed to the new active F5 external IP, then the traffic uh, flows uh, without any interruption. So that is the basic solution that we are providing. Yeah. So this is the solution we have developed for IBM Cloud, and this is for EFI high availability. So here you can see that this whole solution is developed using Terraform and Ansible. So we are using the IBM Cloud schematics to deploy our solution. So initially an operator will give the URL where our Terraform and Ansible code is present. And then from the schematics, we will be giving the various parameters for the FI, BNFs, external IP, management IP, then the subnet where I want to create a BSI. And then I am also specifying the API key and other details. Here you can see that from the GitHub URL and from the settings, it is going to create a BSI in the subnet where the internet connection is available. And also in the BSI, I'm also installing other applications like Python, Flask, IBM Cloud, VPC, SDK. So after I install everything, I'm going to download a FI high availability application. It is the failover application. And also I'm starting the application. Once the application is started, I will be invoking my two FI BNF. So I will be updating this Flask application URL in the BNF's TG Active script. And TG Active is a script that will get triggered whenever a failover from standby VSI to active VSI happens. So whenever the TG Active script is getting triggered, it will call the cloud failover function. And the cloud failover function will in turn will be updating the VPC custom routes by communicating with the RIA's endpoint. So now I will quickly move on to the demo. So I am actually logging into my schematics and then I have already deployed the application that I will be showing it to you. So this is the application that we have already deployed. Here you can see that it is using the GitHub URL of our hackathon project. Also I'm specifying the various settings, the API key, the RIA's URL. Once we specify and once when we apply the plan, here you can see that the plan is applied successfully. And here it is the schematics has created a Ubuntu VSI and it is calling the playbook, Ansible playbook. So in the Ansible playbook, I'm installing the Python, Flask and then IBM Cloud uh, VPC SDK. So finally, after the Flask application is started, I'm updating my TG Active script with the URL of my Flask application so that when a failover happens, it will invoke the Flask application. Now, I will also show the routing table. What is the current next hop in the uh, routing table? The next hop is pointing to 10.240.2.5. So here you can see that uh, the standby FI VNF is 10.240.0.4 and then the active is 10.240.0.5 and my routing table is pointing to the active. Now I will forcefully make it to standby. So when I make it to standby, so now this 10.240.0.4, this is the management IP of my FI VNF. It has become the active. So the corresponding external IP should be my next stop IP address. You see that uh, the active FI external IP address is uh, changed from 2.5 to 2.4. So this shows that our FI high availability solution is uh, working properly. So this feature is currently missing in IBM Cloud for FI active passive load balancer. But if you see other clouds like AWS, Azure and GCP, they are having this feature called virtual IP and also they are using a, a cloud failover extension. What we have developed here is something similar to GCP. So FI is also currently waiting for this feature. Yeah, thank you everyone.